Alright guys, we're back with some Dishonored 2. Um, last episode, we finished the first uh, area and we boarded the ship um, with... I can't remember the name of her. Um, and then... Yeah, so I believe... We're here? I don't remember. I guess we're gonna figure out. There's a little overlap, that's okay. Um, the first episode got some good responses meaning it's gotten some views and you know that's good for me to see that you guys are enjoying it so here we go second episode is also up now hello something's not right but it seems familiar somehow what something's not right but it seems familiar apparently well, my room is locked, so I mean, that's something that's wrong. There's a wind. Ew! Oh, I remember outside. this endless cold. Cold. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Eat. Corvo, old friend. Do I you sound have different? To say it? You've lost another empress. Hey. Don't you talk to me like that. Delilah was born a pawn, but now she's got the throne. Fifteen years ago, the assassin Dow could have warned you about her if you bothered to ask. Maybe you should be you were too douche. busy for questions. Times have changed, Corvo, and you haven't been watching the dark corners of the world. Okay. Maybe living in a palace has made you soft. What happens when you push a man farther than he ever thought he could go? Whoa. Does he snap? And what happens when he tries to go home? Good question. Maybe you'll finally learn what it feels like to kill an empress. Now I could have told you about that. A few times. Except <clears throat> outsider's mark. Reject. No power response. Oh, that sounds. Nah. I'll take the I felt then. this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. Okay then. Never thought I'd be here again. Oof. Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. That's creepy. Okay. I've been here before. The heart. Know you. Do you remember? It's been so long. You've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself. It's good to know you're there. Jessamine, if all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Wow. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. What? If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. And I will guide you when I can. Double what? It's like the secrets. There's no sky. You shouldn't be here. No one should. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Who is Delilah, really? Jessamine's sister? Bearing the outsider's mark. Who are you? You look weird. And in thousands of years, few have seen this place. Two were in Christmas. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a 
cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Huh. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. You sound a lot different than the first game. I wonder if it's different. I don't know. He does sound a lot different than the first game, though. Like, that's just not, that's not just me, right? Maybe I got lazy. Fell asleep at my post. Somehow, everything I love is at risk. Again. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18, boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn, and I'd been up all night dancing three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor, and I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. I am, bitch. For over three decades, I've lived in a palace, watching over the people I love. I've had an empress die in my arms, and raised another from birth. Who would have thought I'd come back home, the most wanted man in the Isles, following the trail of a monstrous killer? What would that 18-year-old think of me now? I don't know. Okay. Rack. So... How many... things did I get? Should I, I should probably go with Dark Vision first, huh? Probably be the smart move. Then go with like agility to get double jump. That'd probably be smart. Whoa, okay. Crossbow. Okay. Word. Uh, oh, one second. I just accidentally clicked off my screen. One sec, guys. Oh, double one sec. So. <laughs> oh, you got the hiccups? Yeah? I'm banging my doors. My brother gave me my dog back, so. Hi, internet. You tired? Yeah. He's a tired boy. Look at him, though. Isn't he cute? Say something. Well said. Okay, lay down. Where are you going? All right, anyway, sorry about that, guys. Um, so if I look over this, this direction, um, Making sure my dog's okay. So, if you see me do that in the next video too, that is why. Anyway, whoa, what's going on with that mouse? Okay, come on. I'm just trying to. Hey, holy cow! Set that to three. That to four. The one. I can stay five, two, six. Nope, six, three. Whoops. All right. So I need. Oh, there is the rune. Where about? Is it in the water? What's going on with my mouse? Holy cow. It just clicked off my screen again, guys. Can you believe this? Holy cow. 
technical difficulties out the wazoo. Come on. Get back in. Oh. The jewel of the south. My homeland. Storage room. Isn't this, Isn't this, this? I can't open this. Okay. That's my room. Jeez, have some manners. Some people. Uh, oh, crossbow bolts. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Hi. You're up. Astute observation. All right, you've explained part of it. What were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. Uh huh. Now the Duke they? has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. Oof, I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe okay. the Duke is using a patient of hers. The crown killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the crown killer. Maybe the alchemist will cooperate. Maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. Okay. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. I think I'm ready. Is there anything else in here? Ooh. Sokolov's style. It's Delilah. Whoa. What? What? That's actually pretty cool. He isn't tinkering or painting. Sokolov's chasing life. We're used to. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity that concerns the murders happening across the universe. Interesting. Alright, let's go. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Yes. Ready. Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. Off we go then. One more oh, time, okay. old friend. Are you playing with your toys? He's gone. Now he's gone. I take you to Adamire by boat, but security is too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Such a silly dog. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember wow. the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademar. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. 
I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Adamire, take out the crown killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. Sounds the good. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Okay, then. Well, I'm gonna cut this episode a little bit short. Uh, just because my dog is running around and he's not completely potty trained yet. So, it's been kind of a slow but interesting episode. Um, I hope you all enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.